Diabetic retinopathy is the most common cause of cases of new blindness in patients from 20 years to say 70 years of age in the United States. It's an extremely important disease. Uh, it is, we know that it's tied to the duration of diabetes, so someone who's had longer duration of diabetes is more likely to have it. However, there are patients who present uh, with diabetes already with retinopathy, so really examination is the only way to make sure that we detect it. It particularly damages the blood vessels in the retina. So if you think of the blood vessels as pipes, uh, one of the things diabetes does is it makes those pipes become leaky or incompetent. And the first thing we might see are the accumulation of little hemorrhages or fluid that leaks out of the retina and causes the retina to become swollen or develop edema. If this happens off to the side of the retina at first, the patient might not really notice it unless they're examined. But now uh, we have tools that can actually, within seconds, measure the thickness. Uh, it's really cool. It's a laser that just scans the eye and gives you a laser slice and measures the thickness of the retina and can detect swelling from diabetic leakage to the micron level. So we can give you a measurement and tell if it's be beginning uh, to develop. So the race is on for many new therapies to treat swelling in diabetes from vascular leakage. The second, and, and we have therapy with laser, there are some drugs that appear to become effective and there are other uh, surgeries that are sometimes used to treat the swelling. Even uh, more dramatically and worse for the patient, in diabetes, blood vessels can actually grow abnormally in a process called neovascularization. And when these blood vessels grow across the retina out of control, they start bleeding and even detach the retina. Although we can sometimes slow their growth or prevent it with laser treatment, if it, uh, if it grows uh, uh, too destructively, our only recourse is surgery to try to remove the blood or trim the vessels and reattach the retina. And recently there have been some very exciting advances about using uh, minimally invasive surgeries, microscopic instruments that are smaller than one millimeter to grow, go across the wall of the eye and allow us to delicately remove these abnormal diabetic tissues and to restore vision. So now most diabetic surgeries are done on an outpatient basis and uh, really surgeries that used to take three or four hours now are rarely longer than an hour and 15 minutes or so, usually with local anesthesia.